I've been told Saturdays are for the boys. Oh, it's doing it again. It's picking up. It's picking up George in the photo, focus wise. <laughs> it's not picking up you. I mean, his head's about as big as mine is in that picture. But when your friends start having kids, those Saturdays start looking a little different. So with the wives on a girls' trip and us being left unattended, I've got something special that we're gonna try. Burbot. <laughs> so this is a little different of an episode of A Day in the Kitchen. Normally I'm giving you recipes that I'm very familiar with, with meats I'm very familiar with, or at least for the preparations. This time I am completely flying blind. I was gifted burbot, which is a type of fish. And it's an ugly fish. But I hear people talking about how great it is, and so I'm at my friend George's, and we're gonna try it. You, you can wave or say something. Oh, yeah, we're gonna try it. Come <laughs> 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 Just to, just to be an active participant, I guess. No, I, I... So, we've got bourbon here, got some homemade cut french fries. We're gonna start getting down into it, so hang with us. That's terrible, that's like the worst thing you can possibly do. Hang with us, me, me, me. Bottom line, french fries go with everything, so let's start there. If you're gonna do homemade french fries, the key on this is to make sure that you soak them overnight. Gets a lot of the starch out, and allows them to crisp up a lot nicer. Pat them dry, give them a light seasoning before you fry, and drop them in. The oil should be somewhere around 350, so give them about three minutes in that bath. Normally, we'd pull them out, let them rest, and put them back in to give them one last good crisp. But since the fryer is small and we've got a lot to do, we're actually gonna try finishing these in the oven. So at 425, for 20 minutes, we slide them in. And they actually didn't turn out too bad. Thoughts on what it's gonna taste like? Uh, a little bit better than bass, not quite walleye. Still got a little bit of fishy, but still a good quality. There's some dark spots in the flesh, which generally tends to mean that the fishy oils, that's where they, that's where they congregate, is in those dark spots, and there's several of those. It's a very firm meat, not, doesn't feel like flaky like a crappie or a, a, a bluegill would. I don't know that I've ever had walleye, so I don't think I can compare it to that. It smells a little stronger, but I'm, I'm still game to try. Now, to the fun part. Since it's a day with the boys, we do a beer batter. So mix up all your ingredients. Crack one open. And finally, delegate the whisking to someone else. Once you've got it mixed thoroughly, it's time to start dipping your fish in the batter and then the oil. And then I hate to give you a cooking show cliche, but cook until golden brown. Are right, you ready for your close up? We're gonna try it a couple different ways. Obviously we're frying this, but we're gonna do some on the grill. So we're just gonna kind of season it up and throw some butter in there and see what happens. Like I said, we're just testing stuff out. I've never got a chance to play with this. I wanna try everything. Uh, we're gonna try some uh, pickle and hot sauce, a little bit of garlic and some butter. So basically you're just making stuff up right now. Absolutely. Crazy concoctions aside, with a little bit of time on the grill, the moment of truth has arisen. It's time to try it all. There is nothing left to do but taste it now. So, which order do you want to go in? I think it needs to be fried, right. grilled and wildly experimental grills. <laughs> I'd agree. All right, cool. So we're now, first thing we're gonna do, fried. So this is the first piece we fried. Cheers. Thoughts? 
All the fishiness went away. All that fishy smell. Not a bit of fishy taste. And I like the, the breading. Next up, grilled. Now this just has a basic seafood seasoning on it. Put some butter on it. Put it in a bag, aluminum foil. Put it on a grill at 375? Uh, about 360. 360 for about 15 minutes. Let's just give it a shot. Oh yeah. Could have probably done a little bit longer to soften it up a little bit. I'm into it. Not as much as I'm into the fried, but I'm into it. All right, now, this seasoning is garlic, pickle juice, hot sauce, hot sauce, and lemon uh, lemon pepper. And lemon pepper. Let's so go for it. So we're trying something weird. <laughs> we just want something weird, we're gonna do it. Definitely can tell the pickles stayed in it. Pickles stayed in it. I definitely don't think I want any more of it. I want to go back to the fried. That's more of a pride thing. I'm going to go back to the fried. <laughs> Dude, thousand percent. I'd do this again. Yeah. Let's go find some bourbon. Next time you go fishing in Wisconsin, I just want you to inquire oh, if, there's, if, the there's, if there's more of these around. <laughs> there we go. A very experimental edition of the day in the kitchen. And like and subscribe, pew pew, I don't know. I never know how to end these. <laughs> So there we go. Beer battered burbot. Put that in your alliteration pipe and smoke it. And so now with the food cooked and the baby put to bed, we can get down to the real nitty gritty of the evening.